I have right now that I'm currently wearing are the Alex Vintage Skinny. What I like about these is I like that they are not your emo skinny jean. So I am going to show them off here in a minute. Um, I want to talk about the logo or the language around this. So the language in a lot of denim can be confusing. You can see skinny, but then you can see vintage skinny. And when you see vintage skinny, it typically means that you're getting more of a late night or late eighties, early nineties fit, as opposed to what we were all buying at Hot Topic 15 years ago. Don't act like you weren't doing it because we're all friends on here. Uh, what I do appreciate about these, the wash on these is my favorite because it is that kind of like already lived in wash. It's not too light. It's not too dark. You can dress them up or down. What I also appreciate about a vintage skinny as opposed to a traditional skinny is that they do feel more closer to a hybrid between a straight leg and a skinny jean. And I'm just going to show them to you guys. I am, I've been working from home today. So I'm going to do full disclosure. I am wearing my slippers. All right, we can do that. So here's the vintage skinny jeans. So they're a higher rise than what most people are used to. And they're not so skin tight. So I like that about them. They have a very nice fit and the pocket placement is perfection. So let's talk about, I'm gonna move you back over here. Let's talk about pocket placement and why it is so important. So, like I said, I, I love jeans so much. I did a full episode about denim. The first episode of my TV show was about denim. And a lot of times we end up in dressing rooms where it's like they fit in theory, but it doesn't look right. Maybe your bum looks a little too wide. Maybe it looks a little too small. Maybe it looks a little too long. And that is all from pocket placement. So if they fit in theory, but you feel like something is wrong with the fit of your booty, it's because the pocket placement. Now I'm going to drop 